In Wonder Woman, Hippolyta reluctantly agrees to let a 12-year-old Diana be trained as a warrior, however in this movie 8-year-old Diana is allowed to participate in a dangerous athletic event against older Amazons and almost wins. She seemed to have mastered archery at 8, she could shoot an arrow while riding a horse. But in the first movie she is still being trained in archery as a 12-year-old. During the opening mall sequence, a video arcade shows Rampage 1986 and Operation Wolf 1987 arcade machines being played. Diana destroys the security cameras to keep her secret. This would have not worked. The cameras had already recorded her in action and the tapes are kept in a separate location. One of the new wonders Diana shows Steve is the escalator and mass transit system. These existed in London during the First World War, where parts of Wonder Woman were set. When Diana and Barbara are having an early lunch, the shot starts off with food on the table then it disappears after a few moments. When Barbara encounters the drunk Harrisser the second time, she kicks the guy and his keychain falls out on the ground. But when she approaches to kick him again, there was no sign of it. Diana looks up to see an airplane flying. The aircraft navigation lights are on the wrong wingtip positions. The red light should be on the left side wing and green on the right side. An assistant brings coffee into the Smithsonian with what appears to be raised plastic latte lids on the cups. More formally known as Traveler Pucker type coffee cup lids they were not patented until 1986 and did not gain popularity until the 1990s. Steve possessed substantial knowledge about jets considering he died in 1918, the first jet engine wasn't invented until 10 years later and the first jet plane another 10 years after that. This might have made more sense if he had fought in World War II instead of World War I. Also the maximum range for any fighter jet ever built was the US F-15 Eagle at 5,500 km, and the distance between DC and Cairo is 9,400 km. However both Steve and Diana flew the distance round trip in a jet without refueling. In Egypt, the car used by Maxwell Lord is a Mercedes-Benz G-Class W463, which came into production in 1990. Her red, blue, and gold suit can be seen under her white shirt. In shots leading up to this, her white shirt is open and the suit is clearly not there. While rescuing the children Diana loses her grip on her lasso and falls, but as soon as she hits the road, it is all neatly looped back onto her belt again. When Diana is fighting Barbara in the White House, Barbara launches Diana to a column which breaks. After that, a piece of another column is clearly thrown on top of Diana, revealing the prop used. Barbara jumps between Max and Steve to break the handcuff. In reality, doing that would cause considerable damage to both men's wrists. 